All right. Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to explore ChatGPT and how we can use it to write some machine learning code for us. ChatGPT is a language based model that has been created on 175 billion parameters and is released by OpenAI and it's free for everyone to use. So let's take a look. Can you perform some EDA on fuel consumption dot CSV, which is a data set I've obtained from Kaggle. You're free to use any data set of, it, of your liking in R. Just ask it a very simple question. Let's see how it does for me. And it remembers the context of the chat. So every time you ask it to do something else, it will get more and more intelligent. And I've asked it to do fairly complex tasks while I, I code and only get better. All you need to do is probably understand the code it generates because you need to see how you can make the code better and you can give it feedback and it will really respond to the feedback very well and make your code more better, less verbose and highly efficient. But as long as you know what you need to ask it, it's extremely great. You just need to remember your concepts and no syntax at all. You can see it has generated my GG plots, my summary statistics, the structure of the data set, it's creating scatter plots. So pretty good. So let's see if it works as is or if I do need to make some modifications. Uh, I will ask it to make the modifications itself as uh, I want to explore how intelligent it can get. You can edit it yourself. So, but I want to explore on how ChatGPT works on its own. So Fairly intuitive. You can see all the plots is coming. Now all the plots are opening on the same window. I want to ask it to open on separate windows. So let me see if I ask it. Can you add x11, which is the command to open the plots on separate windows in our, uh, in the above code to open the plots in separate windows. Now, as I mentioned, it learns from the context. So let's see if it's intelligent enough now to add it at the right place so that I need not remember where to put it. I need not focus on where I need to add it in which section. So let's see, it's writing the same code for me again and just added x11 at the right place just before we open the plot. And similarly, it's done for the other plots as well. So fairly intuitive, fairly intelligent, and I would say extremely useful and ex extremely uh, helpful to accelerate the speed at which you develop code. And you can also ask it to do fairly complex tasks for you as long as your conceptual knowledge is pretty strong. So it's a great utility. Just done. It has just modified the. I could have done this myself in the previous code, but I wanted to show that you don't need to know where you need to add it or the right place. As long as you know what you can ask it, we could probably even ask it what is the function name to open in separate windows, and it would tell you. You don't need to remember that as well. So pretty good. Let me copy paste and see this here. Yes, you can see multiple windows are opening now. We have box plots. We have scatter plots different variables. I could have had it, had it do a pair plot, but the purpose is not to get into the uh, details of the exported data analysis or, you know, we have histograms, but just to understand how this can be extremely useful for you. If you want videos to, ex to explain a full machine learning project using this, please do let me know in the comments and I will make one. The purpose of this video is to just to explore how chat GPT can help you write code without you having to write or edit a single line of code. So, let me ask it to do multiple regression. So let's see. Can you perform a multiple regression on the above data set? Now I have not given it which is the independent variable, which is the which are the dependent variables. Let's see how what it figures on its own, and then you can obviously modify that or ask it to modify that uh, as per your liking. So it has taken fuel consum consumption or combination as the target variable and rest are the uh, and the rest of the variables as the dependent variables. I would like CO2 emissions so better. So let's see um, if I can ask it to add can you modify the code to use CO2 emissions as the independent variable. 
let's see. So hopefully uh, I would like to predict the CO2 emissions. So let's see if it's done that. Obviously in the previous comment I have not given it any guidance whatsoever. But as I mentioned, the better you guide it, yes, it has added CO2 emissions now you can see. And just taking the other, it's made a best guess on the other numeric uh, dependent variables. But as I mentioned, uh, as long as you guide it, it just get more and more efficient and improves all the time. So let's see how this does. And you can see it has done a, it has done a great job. It's already fit the model. Let's take a look at the model. So we have shown the residuals, the standard error, and the adjusted R score is 0.86, right? So it's fairly, very good. That means 86% of, uh, uh, I mean, the independent variable can be predicted up to 86% by the dependent variables. So it's fairly, very, uh, you know, like a good model. And obviously, I have, I have not, not done anything. I have not even explored which variables have good predictability. Uh, just the purpose of this video was just to explore how it can generate this code for you. Uh, if you know more stuff in machine learning, you can ask it to do more and more complex uh, stuff for you. I've asked it to do a lot of uh, you know, great and complex code and it has done extremely well and gets more and more intelligent. So the model, it has also generated the line for you. So a pretty good model and it has generated this code for you without me having to write a single line of code. At times you need to edit it to make it more uh, better. But I was to, wanted to explore if I could just guide it to do what I want to do without me having to edit the code. As I mentioned, when I opened a new window, I asked it to, to do that for me and it inserted it in the, in the appropriate place. So without even having to change the code, you can have it do it, it you know, do for you, right? I can ask it to, for example, can you do a pair plot for me in the above code? So I don't need to know where I need to put it and it will automatically add that in the appropriate place. So that's about it for now. If you want me to make some more videos, please do like and comment below on any specific machine learning problem and I can explore that. The, it was not a, uh, the purpose of this video was not to get into the depth of machine learning, but just on how this will extract your code for you, right? So that's done pretty well. So all right, it's uh, just put the, this is the pair product you see, so it's pretty good. So that's about it for now. Uh, see you later. And do let me know in the comments if you want me to make some other videos as well. Thank you.